TikTok, is it going to be banned in the United States or not? You know, initially Trump was for banning TikTok, but then things changed. And then when Biden came, he did not want to ban TikTok. Somebody told him that you ban TikTok, you're going to lose the youth vote. So Biden has been soft peddling. Interestingly, what has now happened is the United States Congress, which is a Republican majority, has passed a bill that will ban TikTok. Senate says, no way, Jose, they are not going to do it. And we don't know what Biden is going to do. Interestingly, now Trump again says that he will not ban TikTok. What is going on here? Who to trust here? Who is telling the truth? What is it that the American people should be doing? Should they be trusting TikTok and playing, watching those videos or recording and uploading those videos? Or should they just look elsewhere? We're going to take a quick look down memory lane as to why things came to here. So here we go. So Trump's TikTok flop raises concerns over the clout of billionaires. Where did it start? I'll tell you where it started. So initially what happened was that um, Donald Trump wanted to ban TikTok way back in the waning months of his administration. So what happened is in 2020, he tried to ban TikTok and then figured out that there was an out that he could take care of a donor and flipped on it. In other words, one donor came along and gave him some serious funding that made him change his mind on TikTok. Who was that founder? Well, here is the answer. This was none other than Mr. Larry Ellison of Oracle. In 2020, the Trump-linked billionaire with a stake in TikTok's fate was Larry Ellison, co-founder of software company Oracle and the host of a lavish fundraiser for Trump's re-election effort in February 2020, until, I mean, the proverbial rotating mechanism on the ceiling hit, uh, you know, excrement. So what happened was the Oracle CEO, Safra Katz at that time, also donated 125,000 to the Trump Victory Committee. These two, influence of Larry Ellison and Safra Katz donating, well, that led to TikTok not being banned by uh, Trump. And within a few weeks, TikTok gave its entire server contract to Oracle. Now, you know, Amazon Web Services is the big enchilada. That's the one that does a lot of the cloud hosting, but others have been trying to get a slice of that too. Microsoft has been reasonably successful with Azure. Google has done something, Google Cloud it's called, and Oracle also got into Oracle Cloud. So TikTok, I think even today it is hosted on Oracle. So Larry Ellison was getting this juicy contract from TikTok. So he leans on Trump and says, go soft on it, buddy. Fine. So Trump didn't do anything. Then Biden came along. He hasn't done anything. Now what we are hearing is Trump just weeks ago, who was all for banning TikTok, now has changed his mind. Second time. Why? Jeffrey Yas holds a 15% stake in TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance appears to have now leaned on Trump to not support the banning of TikTok. So this guy is a major donator to the billionaire Yas, a major donor to the conservative club for growth as the group cozies up to Trump ahead of his 2024 presidential campaign. So again, now it's gone. So this club for growth has tapped former Trump advisor Kelly and Conway for pushback on Washington's plan to restrict the app. So in other words, Kelly and Conway, a controversial character on her own, is now going to be championing the cause of TikTok. Now, you know, you must ask yourself this question, what the heck is going on? Who wants TikTok out? Who wants TikTok in? See, this is, this is really where things get really muddy. Trump's stance on TikTok has been entirely transactional. He seems to support whatever policy will best serve his billionaire backers. Given Trump's grip on the Republican Party and the strong possibility that he will retake the White House in November, Trump's inconsistency on TikTok could have a major impact on how Washington addresses the security concerns raised by the popular video app's Chinese ownership. No, but see, the, the problem with what TikTok has done is the Federal Communications Chairman, FCC Chair, has written to 
both Google and Apple telling that TikTok should not be downloadable from your platforms. Take it out. Well, the, uh, the that has fallen on deaf ears. This happened about nine to ten months ago, and nothing has happened there. Both of them continue to host TikTok because the FCC chair said that TikTok has been leaking data back and sending it back to China. I've told you this. I've written a book who painted my state purple it's all about that and yet you know things just go on like nothing happened now the house republicans appeared to buck trump's pressure on wednesday with most voting in favor of a bill that would force white dance to sell tiktok or face a ban we don't know what's going to happen its ceo came out and said first tell us what we are guilty of well you know this is a national security issue the united states won't tell officially on paper because many other countries will realize the same thing. India was smart that way. India showed a lot of spine in, in banning TikTok. Now, the, the other thing now, you know, Trump has a new spin also. He says that if we ban TikTok, that would actually help Mark Zuckerberg because Instagram is also a very popular platform. And, and therefore, he says that Instagram, which is seen as a very woke platform, will start uh, thriving. And essentially, by uh by banning tiktok we are actually helping uh instagram and also mark zuckerberg now this has been uh, his position he came on cnbc interview he said the same thing now what's going to happen who's going to be for standing for tiktok and who's going to be going against it now what we have to see is that uh, in the days and weeks to come this is not going to be solved today now in my opinion because both sides have a lot riding on it by not taking a decision then they will leave the youth hanging and the youth might think that oh well tiktok will continue but i think trump administration will move definitely one way or the other if he comes to power in november 2024 and that means before january 2025 tiktok is not going to be banned in united states this is my take i could be wrong there could be a surprise decision and it could be uh, banned tomorrow so we'll have to wait and see but as a law this this particular law that they are trying to bring many people are objecting that that law goes too far and that that's not uh, the way to go about uh, you know stopping tiktok thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar